What is going on guys, it's Armada, and today we are actually going back to those Zombies comic videos. Now we got a classic style gameplay in the background, which you guys are not here for. You guys are here for the Zombies comic issue 6. Now if you guys don't know, this is the last one, and I and there is a bunch of stuff in this issue that is super interesting. I'm not going to spoil it if you guys are were just waiting for this one video. I'm going to be talking about it at the end of the video, but um, I don't want to waste your time because you're clearly here just for issue issue 6 and all the voice acting and all the sound effects and all that dramatic moments I always do with all my issues. But yeah, you're only here for that and um, I'll talk to you guys and talk about the comic at the end of the comic thing. So yeah, I will see you guys at the end. Peace, enjoy issue 6. Previously on the Zombies Comics. We need to stay calm and stay together. This is an untenable situation. I'm not waiting around until they come back. I believe it would be wise to reconvince in a new hospitable location. Go, go, go! Yeah! Not good. Not good. She doesn't die like this. I need her. Yeah! Stop! Have it your way. Yeah! Malton, I know you're- Whoa! Down! This, this is what we're here for. Now? We just need to get out. Yeah, we do. Because these are our options. Work together or die alone. Fine. Do we have a plan? Hey, assholes. Come get it. The barbecue is open. We don't have much time. If everything goes as planned, we won't need it. This man can't remember any time that actually happened. First time for everything, right? Where the hell is he? He's coming. He better be. Because... We're out of time. Should we be shooting? Russ man feels like we should be shooting. We should be leaving. Where the hell is Marlton? If he's dead, we're all dead. He's not dead. I hope. Now what? <laughs> I told you he was still kicking. That was not as dexterous as I hoped. Move faster. Ready? I feel like we should be shooting. Russ man doesn't like smart zombies. I believe he has been part of the plan, and it would not be wise to deanimate him unless he shows signs of active threat. He means don't shoot him. Of course, if that don't move us fast, we get to have our picks of unpleasant deaths. Well, there you go. Home sweet home. Go, go, go! Probably gonna be the last chance I get to shoot a smart zombie. And the first. No, my friend says he has a purpose to fulfill. And so do we. <clears throat> you ever feel like life is a video game? The bad guys just keep respawning? I have no idea what you're talking about. So, what's next? Your friend go quiet again? That doesn't answer my question. Well, I guess the plan is figure out how to kill the meat golems. I may have a suggestion there. When I was studying the plans for that laboratory, I noticed a design flaw. For a few minutes after activation, the transport system is unstable. It exists in a state of flux. That means the kinetic impact could cause a catastrophic chain reaction. What in the hell does that actually mean? If you shoot the device, it may explode. I like the sound of that. We're going to have to roll the dice. We can't fight these deadheads fast enough to get away from the meat. It's boom or die. It could be boom and die. Hopefully, they can be a meat shield. I would hope they don't cause a catastrophic atmosphere ignition. I'm shooting the stuff Rustman bought, that element whatever. The element is inert in this sense. It's the power capacitors in the machine itself that are vulnerable. Just tell me what to shoot at, Marlton. The device center mass. That I can do. Okay, so we didn't kill the planet. That's one in the wind column. Did we kill those things? I believe the answer to that is... Up. Now what? Does that book of yours do something? My friend says to wait. For what? That! 
great. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely too old for this shit. Finally! Come on, we have to go! We don't have to go. Well, now, that's just it to Rusman's mind. What? We can make it through the zombie. We can survive. This whole whatever you want to call it. We've been on the run. Pushed. But now, we choose. That portal represents an unknown. This world is a known variable. How do we know there's not just more bullshit on the other side of that thing? Your friend could just be using us until we're dead. I believe. And even if that's it, is that worse? Work together or die alone. Right? Well, shit. I can't let him do that alone. We survived this by being a team. Hopefully this is the last one. Sammy! It's me, Edvard! Russman thinks this guy looks familiar. The intelligent remnant that's been following us resembles him. Sammy? I know. I know that voice. Shh, we should be quiet. The kids are asleep upstairs. Let me... Uh, are you the voice in my head? My apologies. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Dr. Edvard Victorfin. And I've been trying so very hard to do the right thing. I, uh, I bought you this. This is the individual who's been transporting us? So how do you keep from laughing every time you heard that voice in your head? Oh, you bought it! The Wunderbar! I literally cannot wait to read it! This was all for that? This is the end? You just wanted us to stop at the library for you? It's merely a book, my friends. This book documents the vast and ever-changing histories and mysteries of the entirety of the universe. What do you want with it? I need to find something very important. Something I have to steal. Before my eyes, within my head, I see it all. I see everything. The forces of good and evil battling across all of time and space. It pains and saddens me to say that I apparently have been an agent and an ally to both. But within this book, I see each and every possible version of reality laid out before me. Spoiler! I died in everyone. Uh, you okay? Life and death. The endless cycle. Question. Do you want to live? Yes! Me too! And thanks to you and this book, actually mostly this book, I think I know how we can. Uh, hmm. You do not believe me? Russman thinks you've been running around this whole time, moving us like them chess pieces. I believe the remnant was your doing, your bidding, keeping us distracted and moving. I think what they're trying to say is, we don't trust you. Fair point. Even though I have been trying to do the right thing, I will readily admit, it doesn't come naturally. I think saving our lives is another con. You're gonna keep jerking us around until we're dead. Or worse, which I didn't even think it was a possibility. Regrettably, I do not have time to debate my motives right now. I have other business to attend to. But I offer you a choice. When I've returned, you may go with me and see if you can save all our lives. Or you may stay on this one. I can send you wherever you wish to go within it. Although honestly, it is all pretty much equally terrible. You have until my return to decide. You know, I really do hate seeing you like this. Or suppose seeing me. I really do have to thank you. Was this your idea? I'm honestly not even sure. When you know everything that happens in a story chronologically kind of goes out the window. Blood. It makes sense. I've always been obsessed with it. I suppose in some ways you are one that got Sammy into doing all this. So I shouldn't feel too. Alcatraz. It's a long way around. But it's necessary to secure the additional blood required for our insurance policy. Trust me, Edward. You will need this blood. When the time comes, it will protect you. Back once more to this cursed prison. I know the rules are different here. Perhaps different enough. I suppose we shall see. Now what? Well, 
Have you made a decision? We have. We want to live. But not like this. The likelihood of us getting a better option is slim. You've done well for me so far. Wunderbar! These are suspension devices. They will keep you in a kind of status until the final world arrives. We're trusting you. And I will try to be worthy of that trust. Ha! I don't die! Great, another you. That's all we need, Ritaf. Dokta, who are these guys in the pods? Just some older friends. Try not to worry about them. They are like you. They are safe. Alright guys, welcome back, and we are actually finished with the issue 6, that is all, there is nothing left, I have officially just read the whole comic book, and it's kind of sad to say that it's all over, I'm definitely thinking that they should make another one, because that doesn't really solve the story, there's still a lot of questions, I feel like there's still more room to make a second season of the comic, which I will definitely be covering if it does come out soon. But yeah, this was kind of an emotional comic, but shout out to Arthacon because he actually really, really was so enthusiastic to actually make this. Whenever the comic just came out, we immediately got on to work and he voice acted most of the characters like Rick Toffin, Marlton, and Russman. Now, I did the, my best on the sound effects, the transitions throughout the whole thing. If it was like a dark mood, I would keep it in the dark mood. It was just a very, very hard thing to do, but I always loved doing this. And this one actually took me long. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these zombie comic videos. If you guys did enjoy these videos and haven't seen the other ones, which I don't know why you're watching the last one, but um, make sure you see the first one. And I also will be making a video on just compiling all of the comics into one video as my final. See you guys in the next video. And sorry for not uploading lately, Ripperoni. Freaking pepperoni. Peace.